<laughs> I got lots of things in, probably in my life. Cassie's one of them. But hey, one, this is Lonnie. I hope all of you red pandas out there have a great day so far. Because you are just with this video out there and I'm back with another reaction video. And it's more Fate Zero episode 15 and 16. Yes, this is a double trouble episode, I guess we're gonna call it. Actually, the main idea was to do three episodes. However, I felt I didn't really have the time or energy to do that and decided on two episodes, which was pretty much lots of things going on in that. Seriously. And links to these videos are in the description box. And before I do talk about these episodes, there will be a short artist promotion as per usual. And this time it's a friend of mine called Robocoaster that have done lots of growing and lots of amazing art over many years. And here comes a few arts of her. So yes, please check her out, more of her art is on her Deviant Art, which you can find a link to in the description box below. And yes, about episode 15, we start with 15. Holy shit, that was a really, really, really messed up fight, must say that, with a tentacle monster and all that. And still the, the animation and all, my fucking god, these battles are so fucking cool. So, so really sweet animated, man. I love it. They are super cool and so gruesome. The only thing that I've, I first was like, I don't know, I mean, when uh, <laughs> uh, Arturia, well, Saber literally can one shot this super monster with uh, her f uh, noble phantom, phantom, and all that. And she didn't say that because she didn't want, uh, you know, her honor and pride stopped her from doing that. And it feels kind of bullshit if people actually did die. I don't know if any did die around there uh, of those people watching, uh, except the pilots that died. But that it didn't wouldn't help anyways because uh, she couldn't use her ability that quick. But still, if people actually did die because she did my pride and the honor of all these soldiers die. But how about the civilians that die though? How about them? Now I assume no one did die, so I guess. Things are a bit more safe, so to speak. Otherwise, it would be kind of like she would order like a yeah, we need to stop Bluebeard because she kill he kills lots of kids and civilians, things like that. But yeah, hopefully she did actually not allow that to happen. And I, I actually didn't see anyone of civilians die. So my ground crack a little bit and tentacle. Did they die? I don't know. Otherwise, it was a super cool ability. Seriously, that was a freaking amazing. I love that. Seriously, did you? And then was it a blue bit like? He was like, "What did I? What? What was he supposed to say? What? 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 Was it, did he actually realize that uh, uh, Arturia wasn't uh, uh, Joanne or something like that?" I don't really know, but seriously, otherwise this episode was so freaking cool and so much, oh gosh, if I did And then what's that with um, Maya and Sola Ui? I was like... What the fuck? Shop! Man, that was pretty messed up, seriously. Man, this series is gruesome. Really it is. Oh my fucking god. Damn it! That's, oh shit! But yes, and of course, if you do know more about the the idea that that I thought is a bit weird that uh, if civilians died around before uh, Arturia, well, Saber used her noble phantom and all that. Please tell me, because honestly, I don't really know. And uh, it feels a bit weird if her knight honor would allow that to happen, but she wouldn't have the pride to tell that if you un, un well un well heal my arm. I can use my super ability to destroy this monster instantly. In one go. Maybe it's just me, so I think so. things are a bit too much. But otherwise, this episode was insanely awesome. Seriously. It was really, really, really cool. And of course, then was the fight with uh, Tokiomi and Korea, which I thought was bullshit, because Korea is like... sending a box, his veins popping everywhere, blood, and then Tokiomi's like, yeah, I gotta use... Fireball, I gotta be showing you mercy. 
Then again, we do know if you've been playing Pokemon that fire is effective, well, super effective against bugs. Still, that wasn't like... Why? Why? That was like... Way, 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 way too... I mean, I feel like, you know... That wasn't even that wasn't even a match. If you don't count that uh, career turn to a match. <laughs> oh my god! Damn, that was awful. And then his career, they were like, what is his plan? Why? Why does he even do bother to like? I assume saving Korea. Well, he did save him. If you're going for episode 16, which I will talk about now, and that was also pretty chaotic. Seriously, that was some chaotic, messed up episode, definitely. I mean, first Caneb shooting the priest, well, uh, Kray's father, because uh, no one else will get any more command seals. Bit of a douche move there. And then the entire thing of... I mean, first Saber and Lancer, of course, uh, we're gonna have a duel night, doing the night stuff and whatever. And then the entire thing of this magical contract that... Uh, Kuritsugu makes and gives to KNF, so he can't kill them. But other could apparently, and uh, I was that was honestly I felt so that felt really hard and really depressed. First of all, seeing Diermud getting well was forced to do suicide, and the, seriously, he freaked me out there. He looked crazy. Was that was that a curse or did he actually like unleash the beast or something uh, kind of crazy mode? I don't know. That was just awful. And I really, really felt sad about the entire. And then of course the entire thing with Kane and Solui getting killed by Maya because she wasn't bound by the contract, of course. And uh, oh man. In a way, I do. I mean, in a way, I mean Kane and all that. I mean seriously, he's he had been in a bit of an entire thing. But he actually gave up on the Holy Grail, just, I don't know if it was to save his own life, but the, at least he did it also to save uh, Solo's life. And then the, this bushy like, shooting them, and I'm like, what, seriously, are you gonna do that? Seriously, that was, man, I didn't expect that, that was awful. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm gonna say right away, I didn't, when I first heard of Soul, uh, well, Soul, I don't know, Soul, Soul Eaters? No. Where did I get Soul from? I don't know. But yes, uh, Fate Zero, when I first heard about it, I, I didn't expect it to be this bloody, this gruesome, definitely not, far from it. I thought it was gonna be like, yeah, cool fights and all that, but uh, nothing really like gruesome or bloody or mm, nasty. Those so far have been uh, proven quite wrong in many, many levels. Because that was very, very brutal. And then, of course, what is Kiritsu's goal? I mean, Arturia seemed to be, like, talking that he wanted to be, once upon a time, wanted to be a hero and things like that, make things better, change the world for the better. And then his goal is... Uh, I'm really, really fucking curious about it. I mean, what is his goal? What is the intention of him wanting the Grail to change the world? And what happened with Eri in the end? I don't know. There's seriously the more I watch, the more questions I get. But I guess we're gonna get lots of answers with the coming episodes because it's only nine episodes left, I think. Kind of be man. In a way, I'm actually super happy that people was so like, yeah, watch this series, make reaction, and I'm really, really super happy for that. Oh my fucking god, but damn, I'm gonna watch it more very soon. So thank you for watching so far, and the comment and sharing, subscribe and liking for more. It really helps me, and appreciate it super much. And what is your thoughts so far? What do you like about this episode? I was still it's kind of shaken up about the entire thing. Holy moly. But yes, so thank you everyone. See you later on. And most of all though, have a continuous super great day.